Okay, we're going to try to sketch the curve z equals x squared minus y squared. And to get some idea what this looks like, uh, we're going to need to use traces here. So let's start by looking at traces where in x and z, where y is equal to a constant. So let's see, if y equals 0, then z is going to be x squared, just x squared. And so we know that that looks like a parabola. Where, so that's our trace where, x, where y equals 0. Now if y is equal to 1, or for that matter, negative 1, then we're going to get x squared minus 1, or negative 1 squared is x squared minus 1. And so that's going to be shifted down 1, so a parabola that has been shifted down 1. So that's negative 1 and 1. And let's see, if y was 2 or negative 2, we can have z equals x squared minus 2 or negative 2 squared is minus 4. And so that's going to be shifted down even more. So negative 2 or 2 there. And so that gives us some idea uh, what this is going to look like. And to give us a slightly better look at this, here's the same thing graphed in um, you know, a slightly nicer graphing tool. Uh, and now to imagine what this looks like, we can imagine each of those slices coming out to its proper y value. And so Let's go ahead and do that here. And if we turn this out now, you can see how these tra these uh, parabolic traces, uh, if we pull them out to their correct y values, uh, start, we start giving us the skeletons of a curve. And so now let's get a little bit more information in here uh, to see if we can uh, make this look a little nicer. So if we come back now and look at some traces in uh, y and z, then let's see, when x equals 0, z is equal to uh, negative y squared, so we're going to get a downwards opening parabola when x is 0. If x is, let's see, negative 1 or 1, z will be 1 minus y squared, so shift it up 1, coming down. And if x was negative 2 or 2, we got z equals 4 minus y squared, so coming up 1, 2, 3, 4 and down. So looking at it from the other side, we have downwards opening parabolas, and we got to sort of imagine these curves um, over here uh, sort of meshing out with the curves over here. So now let's again go back to the uh, nicer grapher here. So there's our curves, uh, our downwards opening parabolas, and again if we put those into perspective, then notice that those downwards opening parabolas uh, are going to mesh out with our upwards opening parabolas we had earlier, and this really starts to give us the, f the, the shape of the curve. Adding in the graph of the function itself here, and you can really start to see what this looks like. This is sometimes called a saddle shape uh, because of the sort of curving up in one direction and the curving down in the other direction. Taking out the uh, taking out the grid curves or the traces there can also help us see the shape of the graph. Uh, this is sometimes also called a hyperbolic paraboloid uh, because of the parabolic nature of the graph and because uh, if we were to slice it with z constant we would get uh, hyperbolas as our traces in that direction.